good morning all so in this problem we have to do development of the cutter square pyramid so question given square pyramid 25 mm base heads and 50 mm height rest with the base on hp with all of its base edges equally inclined to vp equally inclined to vp means resting with the corner position remember it so so first we will be drawing an xy line and then we construct here the xy line i have considered the thickness of uh, 25 0, 0.25 you can take 0.13 also no problem need okay you write x y v p h p here you can see so here uh, pyramid problem pyramid means it is uh, constructed using using radial line method so no need to draw x y line are longer so we will take um, only to our required length only top and front we have to draw uh, no parallel line method we are using an uh, radial line method right you can now you construct square so give the dimension make it more thick I mentioned 25 and resting with the corner position show the dimension give the notation for the dimensions here so it has to be written with the small case letter So draw the projection lines to draw the front view here. So front view we are getting it here. I mentioned the naming of the front view. Okay, now we have to draw an uh, section plane and it is passing to the bottom uh, right corner extreme corner at an angle of 60 degree so you can give the angle so angle you have to give that is 120 you can get it 60 here okay so give 120 enter okay now we can measure the angle with respect to the base edge an angle of inclination it is 60 degree ok now the upper part we have to make it thin so I will be using split command ok by selecting that upper part we will make it thin line there So this is where it is cutting on a on a slant edge, one on a slant edge of A O and two on B O and three on C O and again four on D O. Okay. Now you measure this uh, true length. Now you project it this uh, two and four one okay from one we can project 
and from 2 also 2 and 4 on the same point we can project okay so this has to be straight line so we can give it 1 and this is 2 4 Over this. Now we have to measure this length. Okay, I'll be using this uh, split command. Now I'll be splitting exactly at this end, so that we can able to measure it. Or I'll using this uh, distance between command by two points. Using that command, I'm going to measure the length. Okay. So measure it properly. You can try it. You can get it. You can see it is by two points. You have to make it. Okay. So there's this distance. Twelve point seven five. Get it. Same way. End point. It is four here. Select this distance. Twenty point five six. Okay. Now you draw that uh, true length. 53.03 straight line I can show the dimension true length dimension because here OC edge it is parallel to XY that's why we have taken O dash C dash length as true length here okay now go to arc by center measure the length from O to A measure the length from O to A and sweep the arc cut the arc you can sweep it okay again go to arc by center point and we have to cut here 4 arcs of dimension 25 because uh, square uh, pyramid having a base edge of 25 gives the radius 25 and cut the arc then again from that reference point again give the radius of 25 and cut the arc ok there are 4 triangular faces you have to get in in this Again, give the radius 25 and cut the arc. Now draw a straight line here. Vertical edges from O to B. Okay. And then O to C. You can draw it. Zoom in and join it properly. Then from O to C, and then O to D, okay connect the base edges Okay, now the upper part we have to show that section plane numbering. Okay, the one it is cutting at a distance of 12.75. Enter, cut the arc. So you can cut this arc on OA. So here we have to show. Give the radius correctly 12.75. We have to give and give enter and sweep it okay 12.75 enter and 
then on our vertical edge OB so we have point number 2 point number 2 and 4 having the same length ok having the same length you can give 20.56 on OB and OD twenty point five six you can give radius enter and cut the arc okay and I can give the naming that is point number two and that is four and see we are getting on the extreme corner here that is our point number three now we can join all these points with the straight line okay zoom in and try to get the exact point here and try to connect this uh, 1 2 3 4 with the straight line ok connect it and now that upper part we have to make it thin so for that again I will go to split command ok ok now, now select this upper part and make it thin ok ok so this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the like button and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share it to the maximum students so that they can benefit it